Yeah. Are you in your truck right now? I am. All right. Can you hit the horn? I love this. Hit the horn for us. (laughs) Hell yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Large Marge sent you. <laughs> I'm Woody. That is Greg Gory. Boy, Wood. Menace is right there. What is up, Woody? Right there is Gina Grad. Hey. We got Sammy. Good morning. We got Seabass. Phones are open. 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. You can uh, hit us up with a text over to 22987. Looking for your feedback here as we get into this new hour. We got a diarrhea of topics and one of the things that so we have like three different questions we'll uh, we'll throw out there to the audience. If you want to respond to one or all, feel free to do that either on the text or on the phones at the numbers that I just provided. But uh, somehow I forget it, it was one of those conversations I got into late because I think Gina and maybe Menace or Greg were talking about there was some instant karma thing that oh, happened. Oh yeah, or, I know what it was. <laughs> I was at this uh, dinner, a business dinner, so I didn't know everybody at the table and uh, we started talking about like uh, some area that's trying to build like a surf ranch, like a surf where you you like um, you can go surfing where there's like no ocean, right? Pretty oh, much like a, a, a like man made thing, kind of yeah. like they do on um, like on cruises. Yeah, on cruises. <laughs> yeah, but no, like it's that, huge. Like they're building houses around it. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. Yeah, right? I think it's kind of like a big wave pool. Yeah, and everyone's yeah. like, "Oh, that's really cool." And but there was this one guy who was wearing tan uh, tan khakis, by the way. <laughs> Was like, oh yeah, good luck with that. As he's like trying to scoop some food into a go to go uh, like container. container, yeah, and it was a giant meatball, and it he missed it and it landed right onto his pants, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it didn't fall onto the ground. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, oh great, and but he so he picks it up and he puts it in the container, and then he continues to talk, and then. He dropped it again onto his pants. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a cool guy. Yeah, but he was being kind of... <laughs> kind of being a dick she? about a it. a dick, like, well, pretty much the whole dinner, too. So it was cool. Like, that, just that trashing these people who are yeah. involved in this whole yeah. thing? Yeah. And I told you, my, my favorite one of all time that I witnessed was at the Gronk party, where Gronk's... Uh, friend stage dived into the crowd and he just happened to take out this guy that was being an a-hole oh, at the yeah. party the whole time <laughs> and then the guy was like so dazed and gronk's friend was so excited about stage diving that he went back on the stage and then he <laughs> took out the guy again <laughs> <laughs> and the guy had to be dragged out of the party because he was yeah. annihilated <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome the instant karma stuff's good like, yeah. there was like this one like kind of road ragey thing i saw online where uh-huh. you know this guy's flipping out and and the people in the car that he's angry at, they couldn't care less. Yeah. They're laughing at this mm-hmm. guy, like, dude, relax. And he goes, if you, and flipping him off. He, he's not watching where he's going, and almost full speed, rear ends this big line of traffic <laughs> that's at a light. Huh. Yeah. And they're just laughing their ass off. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. Instant karma. I have one, a girlfriend of mine who, frankly, really deserved it. We were at uh, an amusement park, and we were at, like, the food court kind of getting something to eat, and there was this little kid nearby screaming and being crazy. So she went over there to, like, settle the parents' hash and tell them to, like, check their kid. And the mom was like, my son's autistic, and we can't always – and my friend was like, I don't care. And I was like – I was so embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Not five seconds later, because it's an outdoor food court, some dude on a rascal scooter who was not paying attention – Took my friend out, nice. <laughs> right next to the picnic benches. It was it was fantastic. She deserved it. <laughs> You're laughing at your friend yeah. for getting Good. run over by a scooter. <laughs> she was being a biatch. She was being a biatch. <laughs> All right, so here are here are the three questions for this round of diarrhea of topics. Question number one: What's the best example of instant karma you've ever seen? Question number two: At what age? Do you think you quit making a big deal about birthdays? Oh, because Menace's birthday month is coming up. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> All right. But we'll get into that. And then uh, what's something that your mom made you eat? Oh, mm. yep. All right, so we got a diarrhea of topics. Three questions. Phones are open. Open phones. So you can call in even if it's just about uh, one of the three questions. Or if you'd like to give us an answer to all three questions, great. 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Phones are open. Call now. We'll get you on the air. And uh, one of the questions. What's something your mom made you eat? Also, what's the best example of instant karma 
you've ever seen. And then the other question, with Menace's birthday month, at what age do you think you quit making a big deal about birthdays? Or do you give up on life? 877-44 Woody. Let's go right to uh, Christopher. Hey, uh, good morning, Christopher. Christopher. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're doing fantastic. All right, so uh, you had an opinion. When uh, when do you think you start not making a big deal about birthdays? I, okay, so for me, uh, for me, it was it was definitely it was thirty. You know what I mean? Because I, I was uh, I was uh, I was in medium security prison in Oklahoma. Hmm. This, this is like seven years ago. You know, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I had some disciplinary issues here and there. You know, and uh, uh, being in prison, I'm yeah. down in segregation. Mm. Yeah, and I'm in I'm in segregation. Uh, you know, down by myself in this in the in the hole. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm saying to myself, I'm like, I'm not gonna cry. Like I'm a grown I'm a grown man, and I'm not gonna cry for turning thirty. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> Definitely not down here. You know. All right, so you turned thirty in prison and just kind of gave up on the yeah. on the birthdays after that. Yeah. But now you're out. Yeah. And now yeah. you should celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're yeah. out, and you can celebrate. Yeah, I moved out here to California. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's, <laughs> every day is celebration out here compared to yeah being Oklahoma, in prison. You know? sure. <laughs> okay. All right, well, Christopher, thank you for Oklahoma calling. In prison. This is- Appreciate you, appreciate you listening to Woody's show, man. Bye. Thank you so much. Yeah, that might be a low point in yeah. life. Yeah, no uh-huh. kidding. Let's go to uh, Ariel. Good morning, Ariel. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hi. All right, so uh, the question, this other one here, what, what's uh, something your mom made you eat? Yeah, I was forced to eat meatloaf. Just uh, She didn't even like meatloaf, but she made me meatloaf. Meatloaf and is And she great. made me sit there I until it was gone. Okay, I feel like meatloaf is one of those things that people feel like they're supposed to right. hate. It's, it's the nickel back of food. So good. <laughs> and I think that uh, it gets a bad rap because people automatically poison the mind of other people thinking that mm-hmm. meatloaf. Because think about it. Do you like hamburgers, Ariel? Well, no, I'm now a vegetarian. So. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're All right, fine. so it'll really be anything, but like... But meatloaf rules. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I now, mean, what do you put over the top yeah. of it? Do you ever do the sauce, Greg? Um, Usually ketchup. Do you do it and then bake it on top? Yeah. It's like 50s style. I yeah. love that. Yeah, but you know what you get? That's even better nice. than that. The chili sauce. Ooh. Heinz what? makes a chili sauce. Mm. Ooh. It's oh, like a, yeah. It looks like a smaller version of a ketchup bottle okay. that it comes mm-hmm. in the store, same aisle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you put yeah. that over the top. It's got it, cause it's, it's it doesn't have that. Um, it's a little bit of a ketchupy thing, but there's also this like um, a cumin, almost like mm. a tart, or it's like a sweet slash tart oh. flavor to it. Mm. Okay, that I'm is intrigued. different than ketchup, okay. but it's dude, it, it's bomb. Yeah, I do. I mean, you hate it, Ariel. I get it. You don't like a meatloaf, but, but so good. Yeah. What's that line? Is that from Christmas? I'm glad Story? that other people like it. <laughs> But yeah. Mom, meatloaf. Yeah. Meatloaf. No. Meatloaf. I meatloaf. I hate meatloaf. <laughs> I oh, yeah. Hate meatloaf. Meatloaf. Mm. meatloaf. No, it's the same wrap that Brussels sprouts got. I love Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I love them. Now, interesting thing about Brussels sprouts, because my mom used to make those every once in a while, too. Apparently, sometime in the last 40 years, they genetically modified them so they don't what? taste the way that they used Science? to taste. Are you serious? Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. people all of a sudden started coming around again to Brussels sprouts. Yeah. I thought it was because we finally realized we need to roast them and not boil no, them. Yeah, boil. I thought it was the way that they cooked that's them. That's interesting. Now. Like, they no, roast they, them and they put some salt they, on it. Butter. They, no. they took something or they did something and they right. modified it in some way that made it Less, like less not bitter. not bitter, but Par- less bitter. Huh. Yeah, the compound for fun fact is are the glucose glucosinolates that they removed in the late nineties. What? Because glucosinolates uh, is what, and so they removed those. They found that those were bitter. They, so there are some other varietals that didn't have as many of those. Yeah, is that why they stink less too? Yeah. 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 Don't you think they stink less? Right, absolutely. Mm-hmm. They so, don't have that. Yeah, that cabbagey. Yeah, but, but what lima beans still though? Oh, I, like I, lima do beans. Those. I do like lima beans. Lima beans are good. Like yeah, I don't mind lima beans. Uh, let's go to Jocelyn. Hey, good morning, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Hey, hey good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. Let's talk about the instant uh, karma question. So uh, what's the best <laughs> example of instant karma you've seen? Uh, best example would be I was uh, driving on the freeway, we stuck in traffic, and some guy decided to ride the shoulder. And uh, like maybe less than five minutes later, we pulled up next to him, and cop ha- was giving him out a ticket. Yes, yeah, I love, love that. that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was so satisfying. I was like, oh, instant karma, great, love yeah. it. <laughs> I love that too. 
like if you're at a red light and there's some douche or revving his engine like a total badass yeah. and then he immediately gets pulled over yeah <laughs> rules yeah i've seen like a cop like do the whip around oh yeah and you're like yes they're coming to get that guy right yeah. awesome yeah. awesome all right Justin, thank you for the call Bye. I uh, appreciate listening to the Woody show. Seabass, you had an instant karma story. Yeah, yeah, this is an old Cartnark video where the guy, you know, classic maneuver. He's giving me lip, gets in his truck, tries to ignore me. And what do you know about that truck? Hmm. Let's listen and find out. All right. So this is, again, this is from the files of Cartnarks. Man, we got a lot of audio in here. Yeah, you should organize it. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's your folder. One day. Yeah. All right. Here I, we go. I, I in, from instant you. karma. Oh, weep skip wheelie weep whoop! Cart narcs here, that's not where the car goes. It's the middle of a spot. Yeah, it's not illegal. It's not illegal, but it's discourteous to your fellow shoppers, because now what if someone wants to park here or it rolls downhill and hits that baby over there? That baby could get injured by your cart. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a lot of you narcoteers will probably say this is uh, karma or as we in the industry call it, a uh, cartma. Yeah, yeah. Grinding up a starter. Yeah, cartma. <laughs> ah, so so yeah. satisfying. Uh, this one said, my stepfather tried to kick my brother in the backside, but then he missed and he slipped and he fell, landed hard on his ass, <laughs> oh, that's good and one. had to be helped up by the brother who was about to get kicked. Huh. There you go. <laughs> uh, I saw a guy cut in line at a coffee shop, only to have his order messed up and it spill all over him. Good, okay. pretty great. Yeah. Uh, another instant karma story. Let's say hi to George. Good morning, George. Hey, George. Hey, guys. All right, so uh, what's your karma story? My instant karma story is me and my best friend were at a convenience store, and there was a car parked out front that looked just like his, but it wasn't. And we were uh, paying for our stuff, and his ex-girlfriend pulls up and dumps a big gulp soda all over this car. And, and, and at that moment, the guy that actually owned the car came out of oh. the bathroom and saw what was going on. He came running out. <laughs> screaming at her and she was just mortified but yeah i think that's a good insta karma right there oh yeah nice. reminds me what was that uh big lebowski is this your car oh, yeah. <laughs> i don't remember car? that part oh uh, no it's um uh john goodman and uh he was he was pissed because they were there we're you know trying to trying to get to the bottom of the whole thing and uh oh man there's there's uh hold on i have the i have the clip in here somewhere yeah Walter smashes wrong car. Huh. All right, here we go. What are you doing, man? You see what happens, Larry? <laughs> you see what happens? You see what happens when you f a stranger there? That's what happens. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens when you f a stranger there? What the f are you doing, man? Whoa. Stop hey, it! Hey, man. I just bought the f car last week. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I got a Get that was the wrong car. Yeah. So good. Well, yeah, it wasn't even his car. All right, George, thank you for the call. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Bye. Show. Thank you, guys. All right, later. Let's go to uh, Margie. Hey, good morning, Margie. Good morning, Woody. Good, good morning, morning, everyone. Good morning. Love you guys. Love you. We so love. What, what's something that your, uh, your mom made you eat? Um, my mom used to do hot dogs, and then she'd dump them in sauerkraut and make us eat the sauerkraut and hot dogs. Ugh. And the hot dogs oh. would taste like the nasty sauerkraut. Yeah. It sounds good now, mm. but as a kid, I would never. Yeah. 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 It's a yeah you're, you're 10 years old and expecting a hot dog, and then it tastes like sauerkraut. Yeah. Not um, fun. I've, I've never gone back to sauerkraut. Oh, I love oh, it. Really? Um, yeah, we were in New York City, you know, as a kid, and uh, we went to the little hot dog card thing that are all mm -hmm. over the city. Yeah. And uh, we got a couple of hot dogs. My uncle ordered them and uh, got one. It was had kraut on it, mm -hmm. but I didn't uh -huh. know what it was. I wasn't expecting it. I ate the exact same thing as like what Marge is talking right. about. And I was like, oh, what? Because you weren't expecting it. Yeah. And through that moment, it, it immediately created this connection. I'm like, mm -hmm. ugh. God, I, I never. Yeah, I, it I can't good. eat it still to this day. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it. It comes in those like you know bags. It comes like in a bladder <laughs> bag. Yeah, oh, it does? Can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah like you. when you go to the store, you'll see like in sauerkraut and a. Well, yeah, you can get some in the jar too, but they also sell them in these like these like clear bladder yeah, bags. Yeah, like plastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think it's on its way uh, out though? Because I don't really sauerkraut? see. Oh, yeah. I hope not with pork chops. Yeah. It's so good. Mm. Yeah. All right, Margie. Thank you for the call. How can you eat that? It's just oh. Yeah. Bye. It's just like oh. Yeah. It's right. Like, yeah. <laughs> one one thing that my mom made, I think I brought, I brought this up before, salmon patties. Ooh, oh yeah, that yeah. sounds so good. Yeah, but she would use canned salmon. Yeah, well. Yeah. Okay, and then you would take the, the breadcrumbs and the egg and you make them in the patties and you cook them just like you would like a burger right, or, or like a crab cake. 
Yeah, like almost. Oh, yeah, like exactly. A poor man's crab cake. Crab cake. Yeah, right. right exactly. Yeah, it salmon. Delicious. Salmon oh, pies. Man. Yeah, but like when you're seven. But you hate salmon uh, now too, right? I think that has a lot to do no. with it. Yeah. yeah. As long as they're up front with you. One time, my mom tried to. I don't know what she was thinking. She dumped a bunch of you know pasta sauce on spaghetti squash. She was like, "What? It's it's mm-hmm. spaghetti." And we cried and we <laughs> begged, "Please, uh, yeah. eat it, yeah. spaghetti!" Well, I, I told you, my mom gets on these kicks of like. Uh, one year she's growing lavender, one year she's growing tomatoes, and then I called the zucchini craze of 1997. Oh, that's everything right. Everything was yeah. zucchini constantly, and then she had these cookies out, and I thought they were chocolate chip cookies, but there were zucchini cookies. Oh. Mm-hmm. I instantly puked after <laughs> eating it. It was Vegetable. so bad. And I've been yeah, off the, board. But the zucchini bread, oh, zucchini, delish. Uh, like all no, that stuff hell still- Hell no, so dog. Good. Don't want any It's of all it. sweet. But you don't even know zucchini. Don't want it. You, you know how much sugar know. and stuff is in there? Like it's, it's all sweet. Like you don't- molasses. Mm-mm. It just so happens that it's like carrot cake. <laughs> yeah. We got to call it something else. Carrot really cake good. I can do. I <laughs> What's the diff? You wouldn't even know It does have zucchini in it. I know, but like what's the difference? It's a vegetable- Right, it's not he wasn't as traumatized good. by it. I would say yeah. carrots do have a natural sweetness that zucchini does not. Yeah, zucchini. And also, when when you grow zucchini, you get four hundred pounds of it. Yeah. yeah, which is why you and put it, it in everything. Non stop right. cookies, Fritters, breads. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I never had it since. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. All right, uh, instant <laughs> karma. Let's go to Kathy. It's a what is show diarrhea of topics. Kathy. All right, Kathy. What's the best example of instant karma you've ever seen? Good morning, Woody Show. Morning. On Sunday, I'm a I'm a truck driver, and Sunday I was. I'm uh, going to the truck stop, and a truck came out of Costco, cut me off. I cussed him out, and a minute later, he lost all eight of his tandem wheels, oh. and his trailer hit the ground. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? That yeah. was it on video. I tried, I tried sending you guys the video, but my camera in my truck caught the, the, uh, the incident happen. I saw a puff of smoke, and everything switched to the left. And the trailer dropped on the ground. Oh, no. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Are you in your truck it right now? Awesome. I am. All right. Can you hit the horn? I love this. Hit the horn for us. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. Large Marge sent you. <laughs> All right, Kathy, thank you for the call. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. All right, bye. All right, so our diarrhea of topics, instant karma. What's the best example of instant karma you've seen? At what age do you quit making a big deal about your birthday? Haven't seen a ton about that, but we do have a few that I can share with you after the uh, after the break. All right. And uh, things that your mom made you eat. What are some of those? Somebody said uh, when they were like eight, their parents used to make them eat uh, lamb and green jelly. Oh, uh, like mint uh, jelly? That's a classic 70s dish. Yeah. Yeah. So I was forced to eat lamb with the green jelly when Ugh. I was eight. I'm 45 now. I will never forget it. I love lamb. 817. And I've never mm. had the jelly with it. I know. Yeah. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Somebody uh, says, my ex-wife had an affair with my much younger brother. Oh, my, oh my God. God. A few years later, she and her husband were friends with said ex-brother. Her husband ran off with the brother's wife. Oh, oh! Wow. Karma in spades. Well, you hook up with the cheater; they're going to yeah. cheat on you. Right, right. Yep. Uh, no couples like that. <laughs> That's my ridiculous. dog tried to eat my sushi while I was away from the table for a second. <laughs> I came back to missing wasabi and a disgusted-looking dog. Oh <laughs> no, poor doggy! <laughs> That's so funny. They're so dumb. <laughs> So in, in my household, it was what you can't eat. Like we could only have wheat bread. We can never have white bread. Same. Yeah. You can only have drink soda if you had company over. So oh. it was like, oh no, yeah, we really no didn't have soda in the house. Yeah. Same thing. Really boring house. Like boring food. Uh-huh. That's why I had to go to my friend's house to get all the good stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, my friend's houses had everything. Oh, all my friend good. John. His nothing. snack was peanut butter cups. Our, nice. house, oh. our house was a desert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really was. Dry. Do you remember malto meal and cream of wheat? Yes. Of wheat. I used to have, they used Love to make me eat that. I hated cream of wheat it. I like. Yeah, so good. Uh, yeah mom, you got to doctor it up with a lot of sugar. Sugar yeah, and butter. butter. <laughs> yes, yeah, so never, I never put butter in it. It was just like sugar. A little dollop mm, of butter. Stuff like that. I never yeah, even had sure. actual butter until I was in college. What about uh, grits? Do you like grits? No. I don't like grits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I like it was grits. Grits are good. Super weird, but like. All the rest of the day is like corn dogs and hamburgers and everything like that. But when it came to cereal, it had to be like boring, super boring, healthy, healthy yeah, stuff. The, I don't know why. The best thing we got was Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh, oh yeah. That. that was allowed. That was yeah. allowed. But 
now I forget who told me this, but like Honey Nut Cheerios is almost as bad, or Raisin Bran, one of the two, is almost as bad as Frosted Flakes. Oh wow! What? Really? Like, as far as the sugar content, oh, I buy like it. which one? Which one has more sugar? And I think it's uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh, really? Geez. Has more sugar. Wow. And if you say yeah, you know. like regular Cheerios, you are a yeah, liar. Those you're are high. disgusting. You're or a toddler. Like, you're a yeah. toddler or a pathological <laughs> liar. All right, diarrhea of topics. Have you ever witnessed instant karma? Says that my cousin stole and ate my container of milk chocolate peanuts when I was 10. And that's how we figured out that Christopher was allergic to nuts. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's what you get. Anaphylaxis. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> And uh, on the topic of birthdays, I think for me personally, it stopped being a big deal for myself at 21. Really? Yeah. And then you do wow. the milestones, but not because you want to, but because people you're just kind of people like want to. to. So 21, 30, 40. You grew up fast. Et cetera. But 21 is the last uh-huh. time I cared about a birthday. I think I will tone it way down at 50. <laughs> <laughs> Pull back because, a little bit. Because I feel like, you know, I have family members who have children and by that time all the children will have birthdays that you know they'll be fun and they'll be celebrated and they'll have parties and like yeah. my friends kids will have uh birthday parties at at that age and again but, the children should be more celebrated yeah by for sure. well, yeah but all yeah. your friends have kids yeah yeah but they're still really young I I, still, that's when you have the, all the big parties right. yeah yeah but no but they're like and... they're like potato sacks they're useless they don't do anything huh? you yeah. know like but by, by that age, when I hit 50, they'll be like, you know, self-aware and like, oh, the, the party's going to be like uh, a thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my mom is from Norway. When I was eight years old, we went on a trip and my relatives made a Norwegian dish that turned out to be fish pudding. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Should that have been called fish jello. It's a me. loaf of white jiggly fish jello. Uh-uh. Oh it was God. disgusting. It's been 50 years and I can still remember it vividly. That is scarring. <laughs> Uh, that see. sounds terrible. Uh, to the birthdays, Cheryl says, I'm 52 years old and I celebrate my birthday for the whole month of March. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Birthdays are to be celebrated. Oh, and my mom made me eat Brussels sprouts. Mm. She okay. said it right there. Birthdays. I was going to thank you. Yeah. Are meant to be Same celebrated. Thing. Not birth month. Yeah. yeah. Heather uh, month. says, uh, yeah. never for the birthday, you always celebrate. Beats is what her uh, mom would make them Lucky. eat. I like them now, yeah. Love yeah. And I almost threw up after everybody. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Do you guys remember the carob chip craze? Yes. 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 Yeah. My mom would carob. get these quote unquote diet cookies, these <laughs> giant cookies, and they were carob chip and they yeah. were absolutely god awful. Hell no. And we thought they were they looked just like chocolate chips. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It was the, such a scam. Oh. <laughs> As a kid. Uh, yes, like a topping. Yes. Gross. 985 instant karma story when I was leaving my ex-husband after finding out that he cheated on me, gas lines on his house ruptured. <gasps> oh, oh my no. god. Oh. I was I packing how. up kitchen stuff and I smelled gas. I called the gas company. They found the leak in the line. He had to replace 16 feet of gas lines. Spent almost a week with no natural gas to the house. Oh, damn it. It already skipped on me. Hold on one second. Oh. Damn it. Uh, no natural gas to the house, so no hot water, no cooking, and best of all, repair costs. Yeah. Massive, I would imagine. <laughs> I mean, that's a uh, nice story that they came up with. Said, uh, Gina's a spectacular addition to the show. I love her energy. I love this group of people mm-hmm. y'all currently have. Me love. Oh, it's very nice. That's oh, so nice. Babe. Thank that's you. a very nice thing. Oh, babe. So sweet. Okay. Yeah, the other thing I've seen a lot of people uh, text over, and by a lot I mean like a handful. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody else had this stuff growing up. Mm-hmm. Tuna noodle casserole. Yum. I love that. Uh, I've heard <laughs> of it. I do too. Now, I, I didn't mention because the, the salmon patties I wasn't, I wasn't so psyched about. Tuna mm-hmm. noodle casserole. Like if my mom says, hey, uh, what should we have for dinner? And she suggests maybe tuna noodle casserole. Mm-hmm. I'll eat that. Absolutely. Now, you have three topping choices for tuna noodle casserole. Oh, it's the breadcrumbs that you mix with the butter and you put it over the top. You have mm-hmm. four topping choices. <laughs> <laughs> Breadcrumbs, <laughs> potato chips, corn flakes, or Ritz crackers. Breadcrumbs. Uh, I've never had breadcrumbs on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, the breadcrumbs My are mom good. always did corn, like toasted corn flakes. Mm, that would be all right. Any of them. That would be good. Um, Ritz. 
buttery. Yeah, crumbled up Ritz. Ritz might be good because mm. they're super buttery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's because that's the thing with the, the breadcrumbs. Like she would take the, the little ball of breadcrumbs, put the butter in there, mix it up. So it becomes kind of like a, yeah. Yeah. Like, like you get on top of a coffee cake that crumbles. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you, you put that over the top and then you when you bake it, it crisps mm. up. Is anyone hungry? <laughs> yes. I, want that. I know. There's nothing I don't like. This topic of what did your mom <laughs> make you eat, whatever she made me eat, I loved. Oh, she's lucky. Liver, head cheese. <gasps> oh my God. Beets. God. Anything. <laughs> but somebody, it all. Uh, somebody did you grow said up in that. Siberia. I know. <laughs> somebody said their mom used to make them eat liver marinated in milk, and you're like, oh, delish. Yeah, it sounds great. Liver marinated. What? I believe it tenderizes liver it. I'm not sure the exact Marinated reason. in milk. That sounds like something that you get the feast of hell. Yeah, yes. liver that's and like, onions. <laughs> so yeah, good. yeah. That like you stop like, by <laughs> Satan's house for yeah. dinner, mm. like a third and that's world what's being prison. served. Yeah, mm. yeah. Dumb. <sighs> it's all good. Uh, growing up on my birthday, I had to thank my mother for birthing me and then do extra chores. Oh, boo. I always hated celebrating. Oh, that's sad. Because you yeah. asked to be born. Yeah. You have to thank her for it. Yeah, here, my dad says that the mom should be celebrated on her birthday since she did all the work. Right. Okay. She's the one who went. But yeah. I know that like. Well, you your guys... mom's a whore and then you just slid out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just fell out. I mean, you can acknowledge someone's <laughs> birthday without, you know, yeah, throwing yeah. a ticker tape parade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to take a uh, quick break. Thank you for the feedback on the diarrhea of topics. Appreciate that. More Woody Shows next. Hang on. <laughs> 